to this now. Limpopo Health MEC Popi Ramatuba wants more medical personnel to be deployed in the province to fight the coronavirus. Limpopo is one of the provinces that has the lowest number of uh, cases confirmed so far. Now, let's speak to the MEC in that province, Popi Ramatuba. She joins us on the line uh, in Pulogwane. MEC, a very good morning to you. So you want more medical personnel. Uh, your province is one of those with uh, a large majority of uh, rural residents. How concerned are you about local transmissions? Uh, morning and uh, morning to all your viewers out there and thank you for inviting us. As, as a rural province, uh, which of course most of our uh, people work outside this province, we, we have seen that prior the lockdown, mm. our numbers were very low. Uh, we were at around six. But today, after everyone has returned back from uh, urban areas, our numbers, as I speak now, we are at 90. And when we try to, to, to analyze it in every case, you would not see it as a, a, a local <clears throat> transmission. It's a, it, it, it's a case of uh, I, a, a, my husband traveled or my husband came back and then I then test positive. Mm -hmm. so, so that is what we are currently seeing. So hence we are saying uh, it, it, it's going to be difficult as a resource-constrained province to win the battle against COVID-19 in a hospital setting or in ICU. I will be lying to the people of this country if I said, if people get sick, I've got the resources to can deal with. Even first world countries are struggling with that. Yeah. So hence, our approach is to say we need as many uh, professionals as possible to be deployed on the ground, following the pronouncement by the president and the minister that if our, we can put all our effort on the screening and the testing in those particular villages, that's where we will win our battle. Because once we test, uh, we are going to be able to, to isolate and quarantine. And if we do that, we will therefore stop the transmission. If we don't do that, as a province, I can tell you, I see a serious a, 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 a danger uh, a, a far ahead of us. But we believe that uh, all those that we have called upon to say come and join us, yeah. while the numbers are still low, let's try to uh, put much more effort on the screening and on the testing. Yeah. MEC, I'm glad that uh, you have given us an update on the numbers because uh, since last night, the minister, Zulim Kiza, said Limpopo was standing at 14. So this morning you're saying that number has grown to 19. And that leads me to my next question to you. And again, using the health minister's words yesterday, he says local transmissions have started, although silent, but they are spreading, meaning we don't yet have a true picture. What is your laboratory backlog looking like at the moment? Look, uh, because the, the challenges that we, we, we were facing, at which even the minister outlined, is that the testing has, has been uh, centralized uh, before now that as, as provinces we are being empowered to camp. So, so it, it has been tough, uh, even ourselves, all these specimens that we collect were tested uh, at, at NHLS nationally, where you, you, you have had that on a daily basis, within 24 hours, they were able to test the 5,000. Uh, so so we, we, we are not uh, unique uh, from any other province. Uh, that has been seen as a, as a challenge. And also, uh, most of our tests have been done uh, through the private laboratories. So, so they have been really uh, assisting and, and supporting a lot. But as we welcome the decision to now decentralize, we will be uh, uh, testing here in Mount Bay. But also what is more critical is, is what the minister has also launched yesterday to say, we will be, we are waiting for those uh, rapid test kits that we are, those are going to assist us to push more uh, people to be tested. Mm. When we put up the testing uh, stations in our villages, we are going to be using that particular uh, methodology or the, 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 to be able to reach out 
to as many people as we can, because that, that's, that's our target today. If we can be able to screen everyone who is currently in the province and be able to test everyone who is supposed to be tested in the province, we are confident that we can win this battle. Yeah. The problem is if we lose it at this stage of screening and testing and isolating and quarantine. If we lose it, I must emphasize, we are not going to win it in ICU. Mm. Those are ominous words, uh, MEC. I've got to put this final question to you. Uh, recently, we had the social grant payment cycle. How would you assess your province's performance in terms of uh, that social distancing measure? Very briefly for me, please. Yes, it, it has been difficult, but we we'll want to uh, appreciate the support that the entire executive council, because uh, if, if you, you would have noted, the premier of the province himself led all the MECs, all the mayors in the province, what councillors were out in the vote, in, in the in the pay point, uh, whether it's in the shop rights or whether it's in the post office, we were all out there to just educate. And, and the good thing about elderly people, when you educate them and you show them, they are able to understand. They don't ask you so many questions. They don't have attitude. You know what I appreciated? is that when you are dealing with the senior citizens, they tend to listen more and even become your advocates when you're talking about coronavirus. Unlike those of us who have so many questions to ask, who have got a lot of arrogance and a lot of questions to, to be asking and a lot of attitude. So it has not been a much of a difficulty because it, it previously, I would say on Monday, because of lack of knowledge, uh, many of them did not comply. But Immediately when we started providing that a campaign of educating them, they were able to comply, they were able to understand. We are doing this because the most important people that one would want to protect in my province mm. is the elderly and the vulnerable. Because for me, I do not want that virus to get into them. If right. it does, then we are doomed. That's uh, the Limpopo Health MEC, Poppy Ramatuba. Thanks indeed for your time. And Jane, those words, if this gets to ICU, mm. we're not going to win this. No. Those are the words from the MEC. And hers is a largely rural province. That, mm. That's a massive worry, which means the screening and testing has got to be done very thoroughly right yeah. now.